Russian trained ballet dancer who has worked in the industry as a, a theatrical ballet dancer. I've proven in my own life that quality food is the only way that good orchestra music or ballet can only happen if you have quality food. Without that, illness, sickness, uh, lack of vitality, not being strong while performing, whether you're a musician or a ballet dancer, is technically impossible. So quality food is the only way that you can actually have power or strength or any kind of vitality while performing. And that is why I'm involved with ingredients, because the quality food served there, available there in bulk, anywhere, is just intense. I guess I have to mention he is on the payroll, right? <laughs> Anyways, we, are, we feel so strongly about eating organic food, and that's definitely one of the reasons, is because if it is certified organic right now, you can be guaranteed that it's not GMO. I hope it stays that way. I know there's lots of lobbyists that are trying to change that, but right now we know that at least that... Um, we'll assure that we're not eating any Monsanto Frankenstein foods. Um, so we also know that, you know, it's, it's gotten so infiltrated into the food system yeah. that it's really hard for us to avoid. And so we want to make a personal challenge to all of you to go non-GMO for 30 days. And so oh this will entail eating... Like if you're eating wheat, corn, soy, rice, canola, any of those things, it has to be certified organic unless it's tested non-GMO. And then, so that's going to mean staying away from the fast food joints because you just don't know about those places. And, um, you know, I'm not so bad king here. Okay, I am. <laughs> <laughs> She's on the payroll too. No. <laughs> anyway, so think about that. Think about that idea of thinking about everything you put into your mouth. Question, what is it? Where did it come from? How is it going to affect me? Because what you eat becomes a part of you. It becomes a part of every cell in your body and you literally become it. Yep. So if you are eating GMO foods, that's what you are becoming. And who knows what the heck that is. Yeah. So anyways, what do you think, Ian? From the, spirit of, from the spirit of Martin Luther King, I have a dream where all children have the quality food so that they can be compassionate, kind and caring and hardworking and generous to all their fellow kids and adults as well. And I still have a dream that quality food is available for ev to everyone, whoever is interested. And uh, I am creating a declaration where quality food will encompass the entire world, where people can choose from their own individual minds and their own intelligence where they can find quality food with their own intellect to discover what quality food actually is and where it is. all together we have the, the power, the magnified results of all of us making the right choices. Uh, look at what happened like in Saanich, the very first <laughs> municipality in Canada to become non-GMO. You know, yeah. yeah, it is. It's so awesome and it's people actually making a choice and making a difference and, and those people that don't know about it, you know, they, they just don't know. It's not that they're bad or evil. They just have to be informed. We have to treat them kindly and compassionately. Let them know the right way to go. And thanks everybody.